a short video on on uh, PCB masking, particularly under the BGA chip. Now, there is it, it's a fundamental failure. Uh, the PCB masking sort of coming off under the BGA chipset uh, because this this is what happens to the solder bolt if the masking has not been sort of reapplied um, and you know I hear a lot of whinging and moaning on the internet sort of people talking BGA rework is, is bullshit it doesn't work and so and so forth and this is one of the reasons why it sort of sort of causes the fun failure so let's have a look at the microscope and I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing sort of get a clear view Okay, here we go. Right, okay. So the solder ball in the center, basically, that ball is is all by itself around with five solder ball on on sitting or of quite obviously around it. Now the the one in in the center actually has uh, the solder mask sort of taken away from the trace itself. So effectively, there should be two solder ball, one. Let me just try and get me cocktail stick. One here and one there. Okay. So and 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 uh, I've, I've literally this is for demonstration purposes. I've literally scraped away the, the solder mask. Um, now remember these solder mask solder balls are only 0 0.6 mil. So once they get melted or liquidous, see what happens to them. What do you see? Okay, so this is this is just a demonstration purposes, basically, guys. Um, as you can see, that this is a 0 0.6 mil solder ball. Now, what do you think that has actually happened to the solder ball itself? The ones around around the center have actually sat on the pads perfectly fine. Okay, so that 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 and that and this and this sorry is sat fine, and it's it's uniformed a very nice sort of a circle and you know a, 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 a sphere. Uh, that's how it should be. But if you look at the one on the center, look what's happened. This hasn't. This has not formed well enough. So the contact between this and the chip is is uh, the chances of, of making a co good contact between the uh, board and underneath of the BGA chip pad is is sort of narrowed down due to this. So the solder ball's actually literally sort of uh, gone all the way across the traces, which effectively means that 0 0.6 mil solder ball is no longer a 0 0.6 mil solder ball. So. I'll leave it with you guys, but you you know better than I do. But this is why I say when you do have sort of uh, solder mask coming up, particularly under the BGA chipset, um, it is highly recommended that uh, the 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 actual traces are sort of covered with uh, PCB masking. But uh, again, just and, and the other thing I would like to point out is when you put a lot of flux in, which is a good thing, but flux excessive flux can actually sort of uh, flow the solders sort of a thing in in, in, in in the sense of causing you know kind of a bridging and things like that there's there's always a possibility so there's no need to use excessive amount of flux but a reasonable amount of flux should be fine um, I did use an excessive amount of flux as a result of that these solder balls uh, w the one next to here and there they were literally sort of running around as soon as the preheater uh, put, put, brought, brought the uh, uh, PCB temperature to about um, I'd say about 90 degree 110 degrees Celsius the the, the flux became activated and and uh, sort of uh, it start the solder ball started sort of running around you know sort of attaching with one another and things like that which is why I had to sort of spread them out with, 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 with two pitch away from 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 the center 
So again, I mean, but, but, but the main topic today is is about solder solder ma uh, tra sorry uh, the the uh, trace uh, and the PCB masking and things like that. Is I would strongly recommend people to actually sort of uh, replace and and, and 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 correct the board before you actually attempt a, a rework on on the uh, motherboard. Um, so you know you spend so much time I mean I did a RSX chip uh, sorry an APU chip today on a PS3 and unfortunately the crappy um, board from Sony quite a lot of solder mask has actually come off um, so what I've used is is this you can buy them off eBay pretty cheap inexpensive stuff you know you spend spend several hours trying to reball a chip or rework you know change a chip and and these are green green pcb masking basically i bought bought it off ebay um and still it still works like magic now again the, the, this has this may be expired god knows there's no date on it i can't seem to see a date on it unfortunately but it will have an expiry date somewhere now i'll be quite honest with you i've had this for a while now um, and, and, and my best advice again to people who want to learn the, the sort of work is, is if you have any chemicals, if you have any sort of um, uh, flux, particularly uh, flux and things like that, keep them in a chiller like here. As I said, I've put this back in there and, and some of, some of the um, uh, flux that I use have, are exp have expired, but you know, it, it works like magic. So this is it really, hope you sort of uh, find this uh, a useful uh, 